if you're a fan of old school cars and rat rods, you've probably seen those little blue dots sitting in the tail lights and you've wondered to yourself, what's the go with them? And more importantly, would they look any good on my Harley? Well, I'm gonna put that to the test and I'm gonna throw one in my bike to see if it's worth it or not. Now, if you don't know anything about these blue little dots, let me give you a quick backstory. So, in the 1950s, these little blue dots were extremely popular and the theory behind it was that the red contrasting with the blue made the tail lights more visible in the fog. Now, if you have a look online, most people are gonna say that they were only done because they look cool. So, let's put that to the test. I'm gonna throw one in mine and I'm gonna do a comparison during the day and during the night. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge whether or not they look good. Welcome back to the Whiskey Throttle Club. Let's slap this one on. So the first step is obviously taking your tail light off. Now this is a simple process. All you gotta do is take two bolts out and pull the main plug out. So we'll do that quickly. Now, you eagle-eyed viewers have probably seen some of my post-production magic. I've gone from a slimline tail light back to the stock one. But if you want to see how to install the slimline one, I'll throw the link down below so you can watch that once you finish this. Now, once you've taken your tail light off, the one thing that you're definitely going to need if you want to do this is obviously these blue little gems. Now, I found these on eBay for about $20 odd dollars, and I'll throw a link down below. Essentially, all it is is a chrome little cover with a glass blue gem that slips inside of it. And then obviously this just goes straight into your tail light and you pull these little tabs back and that holds it in place. All right, so when you've got your blue dot, what you want to do is grab yourself something to measure the diameter of the hole that you're going to need to make in your tail light. These are roughly about 23 and a half millimeters. And the overall I can go before it falls in is about 26. So I don't have much room to play with. Now that you've got your tail light, what you can actually do is take your globe out just by spinning that and pulling it out. Now what you want to do when you're installing these, you want to install them directly in front of the globe. Now I know because this sits basically flush in there straight that the center of my tail light here is going to be the center of where the globe is. And so I wanna put my blue dot smack bang in the middle there. Now I know my hole needs to be 23 mil, but I don't have a 23 mil bit. So what I'm gonna do is drill a pilot hole smack bang in the middle. Now luckily enough with stock sports to tail lights, they have that little dent in the middle, which you can use that as your starting point. But if yours doesn't have that little dot in the middle where you can drill through, what you can do is measure half of the distance and half of the width, and then that should find your center point. So I'm gonna start off with something small, and then I'll get my die grinder out and burr it out very slowly, just so that can fit in perfectly. Now I've done my pilot hole, I'm gonna work my way up in sizes. So I'll start it off with a two and a half mil, and I'm gonna slowly work my way up. Now make sure that you don't do this too fast. A, because you don't want the lens to actually crack and B, you don't want anything to melt. So now I've drilled as big as my drill bits can go, what I'm gonna have to do is get a die grinder and just make it bigger. So what I'll do is I'll end up marking out the exact size of the hole so I don't go any bigger or any smaller than what it needs to be. Now you can also use sandpapers as well. So you can put a sandpaper in, just keep sanding it out or even a file will do. And just make that hole as big as you can so it'll end up fitting that blue dot inside of it. Now taking it slow and steady, I'm gonna see if this actually fits in, which, I don't wanna force that in there, but as you can see, that's almost in. So it just needs a lick more. 
and then it should be good to go. So I'll just so I'll just tidy this up just a touch. have it. We now have the actual housing for the blue dot in. Alright, so now that you've gotten this far, that your blue dot actually sits in your tail light, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it back through and now because this little glass gem keeps falling out fairly often and with a bit of super glue, what I'm going to do is just quickly Pop a few dabs down the sides, just to try and hold that little glass gem in place a little bit better. All right, so now that I've let that dry, what I can now do is chuck this in the tail light. And if yours is the same as this, basically what you want to do is put it in your tail light and pull these little fins down, because that'll hold it in the tail light and keep it secure. Now, you can run a little bit of silicon around there to keep it watertight, but because I don't have any and because I'm lazy, I'm not going to do it. Now be careful pushing these tabs back and don't do what I did and put too much force on them and crack your lens. Now I know you probably can't really see in there but I've bent those four tabs backwards. Now once you've done that and you've bent those four tabs backwards you can reinstall it back on your bike. So chuck your tail light back in and what you'll probably notice is there's four little tabs here, one smaller than the other three and obviously they just line up with the big three and the little one and that goes back in as simple as that. Twist that until it locks and then you can plug it back in and do up the two bolts. Now, as long as you've got all that wire back up, your tail light should work again. And now I'm going to show you the before and after comparison. Alright, now there you have it guys. That's how you change your stock tail light into a rat rod hot rod style tail light for your Harley Davidson. Now, I'm not really sure if the comparison videos are going to come out as well as I hoped that they would, but let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see what other mods you can do to your Harleys, check out these couple of videos here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.